What if the diet millions follow to burn fat and reverse diabetes is actually destroying their liver and pancreas? There's a major long-term study just revealed that strict ketogenic diets may cause fatty liver disease and severe insulin dysfunction, even while keeping you thin on the outside. And the most shocking part, your organs can be failing while the scale says you're winning. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Dr. Board Certified Nephrologist and Obesity Medicine Specialist. On this channel, I protect your kidneys, metabolic health, and longevity using evidence-based science. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like and share button. I share evidence-based health tips every single week. Today, we're examining what happens inside your body on long-term strict ketogenic diets, not the social media claims, but what rigorous research published in Science Advances actually shows. We'll cover the lipid crisis, the insulin shock, and what this means for your kidneys, and more importantly, for your longevity. And stay tuned with me at the five-minute mark where I talk about what I discovered about insulin secretion, which will change how you think about keto forever. But first, let me show you what sparked this research, the long-term study. A science advances study followed mice on a strict ketogenic diet for nearly a year, a significant portion of their lifespan. And the diet matched the medical ketogenic protocol. About 90% of the calories came from fat. This is the strictest form originally designed for epilepsy. The results revealed a metabolic paradox. Yes, the ketogenic diet prevented weight gain, but it triggered profound internal damage. Despite staying lean, the keto-fed mice developed severe hyperlipidemia by month six. That means their bloodstream was flooded with fat. Here are the numbers. The triglycerides were 1.7 times higher than the high fat, reaching approximately 400 in milligrams per deciliter versus 265 in controls. Esterified fatty acids were 2.7 times higher in males. And this creates what we call a lipotoxic environment where excess circulating fat damages tissues. Lipotoxicity, it stresses the liver, the pancreas, the heart, and the kidneys. And over time, it increases the risk for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, kidney damage, and accelerates aging. Now, I know what everyone's thinking. It's a mouse study, and you are right. But this long-term model on an almost identical human clinical diet is the best evidence we currently have to examine internal damage over time, something we cannot ethically study in humans for years. This is a critical warning signal. Being thin on the outside does not mean healthy on the inside. Drop a comment below if you are currently following a strict ketogenic diet. Let's talk about the three types of keto. Before we go further, we need to clear up one critical misconception. Not all ketogenic diets are the same. There are three versions, and the, this particular study only examined one. First, the medical ketogenic diet. This is about 90% of calories from fat, originally designed for epilepsy. This is what the study examined. Second is the influencer or dirty keto. This is high butter, bacon, cheese, snacks, very little fiber. This is completely different from medical keto and is not clinically validated. And the third variation is the balanced low carb or the Mediterranean variety low carb diet that has vegetables, healthy fats, lean proteins, and fiber. Now remember, this is metabolically distinct from strict keto. This particular study that we're talking about today evaluated the strictest form. And so these results do not automatically apply to low carb diets. My goal isn't once again to demonize keto is to share what the science shows. Now let's see where all that extra fat went. In the male mice, fat accumulated in the liver causing hepatic steatosis, which is also known as fatty liver. They also developed elevated liver enzymes, specifically ALT, which is a key liver enzyme signaling injury. ALT levels in the mice rose by about 35% compared to baseline. And here's the surprising part. 
the liver damage in strict keto looks similar to the high-fat diet group, even though the keto mice remained lean. This challenges the belief that ketogenic diets protect the liver. In this long-term model, it did not protect the liver. Now, there was a sex difference. Male mice developed significant fatty liver, while females did not show the same degree of fat accumulation. This suggests males, in this case male mice, may actually be more vulnerable to liver stress from long-term strict keto. But the liver findings weren't the most alarming discovery. What happened to the pancreas shocked me, and this is the finding that changed how I counsel patients. Over time, the mice developed severe glucose intolerance. They struggled to control their blood sugar. But the reason was completely different from standard high-fat diets. On a high-fat diet, the body becomes insulin resistant. Cells stop responding to insulin. But on strict ketogenic diets, mice remained insulin sensitive. Their cells could respond to insulin, but the pancreas failed to release the insulin properly. Using the gold standard hyperglycemic clamp test, researchers found that keto-fed mice, they lost the rapid first phase insulin receipts. That's the quick insulin surge needed to control blood sugars. First phase insulin response decreased by about 60% in the keto mice. Without it, blood sugar can spike dangerously. And this reflects beta cell dysfunction, the same pathway that precedes type 2 diabetes. Think of it this way. High fat diet, the body has insulin, but the cells ignore it. A strict long-term keto diet, the body is sensitive to insulin, but insulin doesn't show up. Why? More than 400 genes were uniquely altered in the pancreatic islet cells. Under electron microscopy, the Golgi, which is the cell's shipping center, was seen as being swollen and dysfunctional. Insulin was made, but it couldn't be packaged and released on time. Now, if you've experienced blood sugar issues on keto, drop it in the comments below. This is the hidden metabolic trap that weight loss can mask. And as a nephrologist, I have to talk about why this matters for kidneys. Remember, metabolic dysfunction is one of the quietest drivers of long-term kidney decline. Strict ketogenic diets, they increase kidney risk through several mechanisms. First, the lipotoxicity and oxidative stress damage, they harm the delicate kidney blood vessels. Second is ketogenic diets cause fluid losses and electrolyte imbalances that can strain the kidneys further. And third, many ketogenic diets are high in animal protein, which increases the acid load and increases the pressure on the kidneys. And this becomes especially concerning for patients with advanced chronic kidney disease. Finally, for diabetics, taking SGLT2 inhibitors, combining them with a ketogenic diet increases the risk of a dangerous metabolic emergency called euglycemic ketoacidosis. Now, let's connect this to longevity. Remember, living longer isn't just about weight. It's about preserving the organs. While short-term or cyclic keto may offer benefits, Continuous long-term ketogenic diets may accelerate that cellular aging in some organs. Some studies have shown increased markers of cellular senescence, which is early aging in both heart and kidney tissues, and elevated triglycerides. Fatty liver, impaired insulin receipts are not markers of metabolic youth. Here's the part that gives me hope. And this is critical if you're currently on strict keto. When keto-fed mice switched back to a low-fat diet for just four weeks, their severe glucose intolerance rapidly improved. This suggests early metabolic damage from a strict ketogenic diet may be reversible when caught early. Comment reversible in the comments below if this is surprising to you. The key word here, though, is early. 
the longer you stay in that lipotoxic environment, the harder the reversal becomes. Who might benefit from keto? Remember, it's a medical tool, and like any tool, you have to use it correctly. Strict keto may be appropriate for epilepsy, short-term supervised metabolic resets, and certain neurological settings under clinical guidance. But you want to avoid strict long-term ketogenic diets or use extreme cautions if you have diabetes, chronic kidney disease, heart disease, high triglycerides, kidney stones, or you take SGLT2 inhibitors. For most people, there are safer long-term options such as Mediterranean-style low-carb or plant-forward kidney-friendly low-carb approaches if that's what you want. These support the metabolic health, kidney protection, and longevity without the long-term risks. Your action plan? My final message once again is, I am not here to demonize a ketogenic diet. I'm here to protect your long-term health with evidence. Short-term weight loss should never blind us to long-term consequences. If you follow a strict ketogenic diet, monitor your lipids, liver enzymes, kidney function, and glucose responses to food regularly. Remember, a diet should be a tool, not a belief system. And if this has opened your eyes to long-term metabolic health, please hit that like button and subscribe for weekly evidence-based content on kidney health, nutrition, wellness. And share this with someone following a ketogenic diet long-term. It could possibly protect their health and longevity. As always, I want to thank you so much for joining me for this video. I always end the videos by talking about gratitude and kindness. Please express gratitude, express kindness with everyone around you. And don't forget yourself by taking care of your health. And if you're on a ketogenic diet, put in the comments below, how long have you been following a strict ketogenic diet? What's your experience? This may help all of our viewers and may help them to be able to make better long-term decisions. Thank you so much for your watching. Take care of your health and I'll see everyone next time.